open up real big hello and welcome to the views kitchen I have a great recipe for you today I'm gonna to show you how to transform your hominy into a delicious comfortable meal for your family now I'm gonna be using something that I've never used on the channel and if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I was vegan for a year and I know how to transform these dishes to my liking. And there's something that I cannot tolerate is flavorless food. So let me show you the ingredient that I'm gonna be using. Now, if you don't have this ingredient, don't look away, okay? It's gonna be okay. So long as you have a bouillon or your favorite uh, vegetable seasoning, you're gonna be able to transform this. But if you wanna give it a try the way that I make it, we're gonna be using this delicious soup base. So if you have your favorite soup base or our friends that are not fully on to the vegetarian vegan meals um, you can continue to use your chicken bouillon now let's go over the rest of the ingredients let me give you a closer look at the vegetable seasoning that I'm gonna be using though Sam soup base I really love the flavor that it gives it has a slight sweetness to it and when I use it in any soup or um, any uh, vegan dish, I, I tend to enjoy it a lot better, especially for a guisado. Uh, if you don't have this, you can use any other vegetable seasoning that you have, as I mentioned before. Don't feel, don't feel bad if you don't have it, okay friends? You can still make this. Hominy. To the water, I added a little bit of salt, and you're gonna add your hominy. Once you add your hominy, you're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes. We want those kernels soft and tender for this delicious guisado. Pre-cooked pinto beans, chopped white onion, Roma tomato, Anaheim pepper, garlic, and cilantro to taste. If you don't like cilantro, you can omit that. And also wanna let you know that I know a lot of you don't have access to Anaheim, and if you can get a hold of a poblano or canned chili, can like the hatch chili we used yesterday, you can use that for this as well. Butter, black pepper, Mexican oregano, warm water. To your warm water, you want to add your soup blend, your seasoning blend, your bouillon. Give that a good mix. We gotta wake those flavors up. Looks like we're all set. Let's head on over to the stovetop. Set your pan on a medium heat and add a little bit of oil. Next, you're gonna add your butter. I don't know, I've really been into butter these days. Like butter on my rice, butter on everything. I don't know what's going on, like buttered pasta. You know, I just want butter. I've been into your rice and definitely butter, but mostly your rice. That that Amish butter really, really helps me through it. What, the butter from your boyfriend? Oh my goodness. Friends, just so you know, Cloud doesn't have that many boyfriends. We just call every person <laughs> she talks to her boyfriend. It's because We're just I'm playing. over friendly, you guys. <laughs> it's, I'm over friendly. Once your butter has melted, you're gonna add all the wonderful fruits and veggies we shop, we sh we shopped, we shopped. Okay, you did shop for it. We shopped for it, and, and we chopped, chopped it, <laughs> and we chopped it. <laughs> oh, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you, honey. Oh, you didn't interrupt me. We're sisters. Okay. <laughs> yes, friends, I do have an accent. People are worried. Feed me. Oh uh, wait, let's wait for it to be cooked. <laughs> <laughs> We're just playing, friends. <laughs> Guys, I eat all throughout the video process before, during, after, and way after. Those of you that know and me personally. And at 2 a.m. sometimes. Yes, those of you that know me personally, I do not skip any meals, honey. <laughs> okay, stir all those wonderful ingredients together. And we're going to allow these to cook for about three to four minutes on a medium heat, okay? I'm only about a minute and a half in, and I want you to give that a whiff, okay? I want you to smell that. That smell is completely amazing, and, it, and it's natural. We really haven't added anything other than the fruits and veggies here. Can't you be more romantic than saying giving it a whiff? Maybe like the way you smell your roses? The way I smell my roses? Yes. That's really intimate, Carl. You're so beautiful when I see you <laughs> smelling your roses outside. Okay, let's try that again, okay? <laughs> Go ahead, allow all that beautiful steam and smell it like you would smell your roses so that you know what I'm talking about. Do you like that better, Carl? Yes, let that aroma seep into your pores. 
apparently we've been in, in sister mode okay thank you thank you all so much for supporting us guys <laughs> we do tend to scare a lot of people off with our chit chat but this is this is family and you guys are family i think we scare more people off with our giggles sorry guys <laughs> people don't realize <laughs> people don't realize how much i giggle and some people really get annoyed with my giggles it's because we're saying things on and off the camera that cause us to have that side effect I know. We'll tone it down. We'll it's tone like the it kids. Down. It's the kids that, uh, that sit behind in the back seat and they're just laughing. And the parents are like, "Stop!" Yeah, that's you and I. That's right. All right, we got a few more minutes to go. After you see your tomatoes have softened up, that's when we're gonna go ahead and add our water mixture with our uh, veggie seasoning. Okay. Oh wow. Give that a quick stir. Next, you wanna add your black pepper. I'm sure you can add the pepper once we add the seasoning to the hot water, but I think that it just gets too peppery and this just gives it that subtle flavor that we're looking for. Okay, so once you've mixed those ingredients in, go ahead and add your hominy. Your beans. And let's give this a proper introduction. Allow it to cook. We're going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. You're, you're really there. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't this where you introduced them, like as bride and groom? Yes, this is this is. Or it, groom this... and groom, or bride and bride. Yes, or... it's it's the union. <laughs> If you want your guisado to be a little bit more stewy, you want to use one cup. But if you don't want so stewy, but you want that sauciness, then go with about half a cup. So you can adjust this recipe however you like it. That's what's so wonderful about a guisado. You can make it comfortable for your home. I still have my pan on a medium heat. I'm going to get your oregano and we're going to crumble it with our hands, okay? We want to break, break it down and allow those um, wonderful aromatic flavors to come out. Now I'm gonna place my burner on a medium low and I'm gonna allow these flavors to combine and everything just to get really soft and that deliciousness that we love from a guisado, okay? So, Hang on, friends. It's been four minutes and I've tasted everything that I have here. I just need a little tiny bit of salt, like a sprinkle of salt. Let me show you my sprinkle. Just about that much, hardly anything. And that's gonna help all these flavors combine. I know it seems like nothing, but you'd be surprised when you use uh, bouillon and you, you just need that extra something. It usually ends up being a sprinkle of, of salt to balance the flavors. Go ahead and turn your burner off. Now it's time to sprinkle cilantro. If you have parsley, it'll taste delicious in here. Once you add your cilantro, just stir it up. Oh, that smells so good. You can smell the oregano. It's just the whole combination of each ingredient. It's so natural and you can smell it. Wow. I hope you guys are getting as excited as I am. <laughs> I can't even find my words. <laughs> Okay, who's ready to taste this deliciousness? I am. Yay. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We completely adore you and are so grateful that you requested Meatless Mondays because Cloud and I, we love our veggies. Now, if you love Taco Tuesday, don't forget to tune in tomorrow because I'm going to be making something that I have not made on the channel but has been requested. And on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios! Open up. Real big.
see, not so bad. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the chiltepin hot sauce because I love it, it's so, so good. If you have never tried this, you are in for quite a treat. It is so, so good. And by so good, I mean it's flavorful. You have the textures that we all enjoy and it's definitely carby. It leaves you satiated. Mm-hmm. You don't need much, but I'm curious to know how you're gonna pair this. If you're gonna use a tortilla, if you're gonna use rice, you're gonna put it over your tostada. <laughs> Make some nachos out of it. Mm. I really love the texture of the hominy. It just completes the dish. Mm-hmm. Mmm. If you have some naan bread, highly encourage it. Thank you for making us a wonderful meal today. You're welcome. I'm so happy. It's so good. I think when you're a foodie, it's not just so much what we call naughty foods, you know, like like yesterday. <laughs> it's about enjoying food for what it is, whatever, fruit, vegetable, grain. It's about combining the flavors and I just, I'm a foodie. And I think that you're all gonna love this. We hate to eat and run, but we have to eat and run, guys. Mm -hmm. We love you all. Bye.